Hey guys, we're on a 2019 BMW X3, and this is my wife's car. And the right hand passenger mirror, whenever you put it in reverse, it swivels down so that you can kind of see the curb and see, uh, you know, more on that side when you're backing up. But it pivots too much. And we're going to use the Think Car 689BT to see if we can change the angle. Uh, this scan tool is supposed to have some coding options for this car and we're going to see if it'll do it but, but first let me show you how much angle it pivots down i'm going to hold the camera right here i'm going to go into reverse and that is just too much of an angle uh it, it doesn't need to be quite that much i'll go go ahead and go back into park so we're going to see if this scan tool will do uh, some coding on this car. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. We'll hit BMW. And I'm going to go ahead and go into coding slash program. We're going to go down to the X series. This is an X3 GO1. Coding and program. Uh, let's try personalization first. Let's see. I think what that would be in is this car access system. I'm going to hit function selection. Now, on this screen, it's a good idea to back up the vehicle coding data for current system. The reason you want to do that is if something goes wrong and anything gets messed up, you can go back and you, you can restore all the data for whichever backup you did. So if I was, you know, if I was to make changes and I had three or four different backups, I could revert back to any one of those uh, to put the system back to uh, where it was before I did the last coding that possibly uh, messed anything up. Hopefully that made sense. Let's go to function selection. And it says here to avoid data loss due to improper operation, first you select Okay, if a problem occurs, you can change. That's basically what I just said. I want to hit yes to that. And now we just got to scroll down. Let's see what all we. Okay, so you can see there's quite a few options here that we can choose from. So let's start reading down through here and let's see if we can find the uh, mirror. Okay, front passenger's rear view mirror, fold down angle when reversing. So that's exactly what we want. Uh, I'm going to tap the spot there. It says it says is that, that the value is at 90 right now. Now, you can select a modified value of 0 to 255. This clearly is not angle because that mirror does not swivel or pivot 90 degrees. So this is just a, a value, and usually what that is, especially since it says 255, those are stepper motor values. Uh, right now it's set to 90. I want it to go about half of what it was earlier. So I'm gonna go, let's go with, uh, we'll go ahead and go 45 and we'll give that a try. So I'm gonna hit 45. Uh, get rid of the keyboard. We're going to hit OK. And right now it's making the changes in the computer. And then we'll put it in reverse again. And we'll see uh, if the angle is a lot less than what it was. And I might need to change it. I might need to go to 50 or 55. If 45 isn't quite enough. I could not find a place in the car to, to do that there's a spot in the menu on the car to where you can uh you can select whether you want the mirror to pivot or not but it doesn't give you 
how much it's going to pivot. Okay, I'm going to hit uh, OK to that. I'm going to hold the camera about the same spot that I did earlier. We're going to go to reverse. And that's actually really, I think that's, I think that's a lot better. That's a much better angle to, uh, to have. We'll go back to part. Yeah. So the, uh, the think tool did good. Uh, this is the 689 BT and before we get out of here, let me go ahead and we're in the, the cast system. We're going to go ahead and go back and, uh, go back into that. And I'm going to go through all the different options. So if you have a BMW, you will be able to see at least in the cast system, what coding options you've got for the personalization of the car. So I'm just going to slowly scroll and you can read down through everything. Uh, now some of it looks like it's in German. That turn lamp count. Uh, now there's a down arrow, so let's click that. It looks like uh, you've got zero zero or zero one. I don't speak German and I don't read German, so I don't know what that says. But we're not going to change that. I'm just going to scroll to give you an idea of what you can expect from this scan tool on a BMW. And I'm going to be making a lot more videos uh, on this car. We just recently got this car a couple weeks back. Uh, this is our second BMW. We was very impressed with our first one. Uh, so hopefully this one proves to be as good. So far, my wife loves it. I'll go back the other way just in case you missed anything. And then uh, we'll call this video done. And there you have it. So I'm going to hit cancel out of that. And you can see you've got all these modules right here that you can go into and uh, code different things in it. The one we was in was this one right here, car access system. Well, I didn't mean to do that. The car access system. But you've got, you've got all the other modules too. I don't know how much coding uh, each one of them have if you want to know that leave me a comment and i'll hook back up and we'll go into that module and we'll see what all uh, types of coding each module has but it looks like there's a pretty good selection there anyway 2019 x3 bmw uh we coded the mirror angle so it wouldn't be quite as quite as severe as it was you guys take care